Hey guys, even here, so the pre-judging of the Classic Physique Mr. Olympia has wrapped up and this is your first call out, as you can see in the middle right there, of course, expectedly you have Chris Bumstead, who is most likely going to win the show, but you have Ramon Dino pushing him, and those two guys actually made a phenomenal first call out, that's right, they were in one call out, only the two of them, so that means Ramon Dino is gonna be either first or second, more likely second. And I think Chris did enough to win this show. He looked absolutely amazing, crazy. I think these photos right here posted by Mr. Olympia LLC are doing him the most justice and showing his condition, his true conditioning in these photos and he looks shredded. One leg, as you can see, right leg, a little bit smaller, but that won't hurt him that much. Look at his side chest, look at the conditioning in the side leg and, and the chest right there, back, looks probably the best it ever looked. One bicep seemed injured and that leg too, so I'm getting Dorian Yates vibes. I think Chris Bumstead is going to retire after this one, but his conditioning and his muscularity and his his hardness were never this good look at this this was absolutely ridiculous and he was doing most muscular because he felt that confident about his hardness muscularity and conditioning so he wanted to showcase it to everybody and he had the most muscular in his posing routine I'm pretty sure I can pretty much say right now he did enough to win his fourth Mr. Olympia title if you exclude from consideration his injuries, whatever happened to his right leg and his left bicep, if you don't consider that, he brought the best look overall, look at this. He was never ever this shredded and this full at the same time. 2020 he was really full and big, but 2021 he was shredded but a little bit flat and 2020 he wasn't super conditioned, so this time around he brought a combination of those two things. So Hani Rambo definitely did his job very, very well. Chris peaked like never before. And I think he won another Mr. Olympia title. Though I am getting the vibes that this is going to be his last Mr. Olympia. Look at him right here on the stage. I think he's going to retire after this one. I think he should as well. I mean, he has nothing to prove, and guys like Ramon Dino are breathing at his neck. As you can see, Ramon Dino brought really good package, really complete physique. I think this was his best ever combination of fullness and hardness, but he was just, you know, he was kind of underwhelming compared to Chris, because Chris is so insane, but still, you know, he deserved his spot in that top two. I don't know if the judges would give him the victory because he's perfectly symmetrical. He doesn't have any asymmetry on his body. I don't think the judges would punish Chris for that. I think it would be too much. I think the judges will give it to Chris, even though Ramon Dino looks great and he's going to be second. In the first callout also, you had these guys. On the far left right there, you can see Wesley Vissers, and I'm really glad that he finally made that first call out. Finally, the judges noticed him, as I thought. You know, in my, in my videos prior to the Mr. Olympia, I said his conditioning looks good, and I thought that the judges will reward that. I felt like the judges wouldn't reward him because his conditioning was never good. And finally, his conditioning is good, and you know, his structure not ideal, but he has some really good traits. In some poses, he looks like Arnold, and he has some really good body parts. And overall, he has, you know, kind of like a golden era type of physique. So, apparently, finally, the judges decided to reward that. And out of 50, uh, 59 guys, uh, Wesley is gonna be in that top 8. And if he is 8th, that's a huge success. You know, he has beaten 51 guy, 51 classic physique Olympian. And that's a, that's a huge success. Also, you had Brion Ainsley. He didn't hit the post here, unfortunately, but this is the photo that we got. He was really conditioned. He was better than last year. Very conditioned, but a little bit smaller. His legs are definitely down in size. Urs Kaletsinski, in my opinion, should be third. That's the way I see it. I don't know. We'll see. Then you had Mike Sommerfeld. He's going to be battling against Urs, in my opinion, for that third. I think Urs got him. I think he's going to be fourth. And then you had Terence Ruffin. Something happened to Terence Ruffin. He was in really good shape before the Mr. Olympia, but something happened. And his conditioning on that stage did not look good. Take a look at his glutes. He looks like he didn't even diet. He looks fat. Not just the glutes, but the hamstrings as well. Lower back too. I don't think this is fat. I think he just spilled over for some reason. He got watery or something like that. Maybe it has something to do with uh, the weighings because he missed his weight originally. He was one pound short and had to make the weight. Maybe that stress did something bad to his body. I have no idea, but 
I did not expect Terence to be in this poor conditioning and because of that, because he was not super crisp, he's not going to be in that top 3 neither, top 4, maybe things will change until finals, I don't think so, I think he's battling with Brion for that 5th spot and he's most likely going to be 6th actually, that's the way I see it right now, maybe even 7th, because classy FM Fabian Myers, the Austrian guy, looks amazing right now. I had him as a dark horse, I expected him to potentially do well, to be in that top 6 potentially, and uh, he proved me right, you know, he brought good conditioning, he has an amazing structure, beautiful shape, great symmetry, and in my opinion he's better than Terence Ruffin right now, he's taller, he has a wider frame, he's better conditioned, and so I have him placing ahead of uh, Terence, and also maybe on Brion, but I don't know about Brion, Brion looks really sharp from the back, as you can see right here, Ramon Dino definitely looked the most dominant after Chris Bumstead and that's why he ended up in that two-man call-out only him versus Chris Bumstead it was amazing it was a great show I am really curious to find out what are the actual results who plays to where and if Chris managed to defend his title against Ramon Dino I think he did but we'll see you never know anyways guys that's gonna do it for this video if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and for more Mr. Olympia videos and all kinds of bodybuilding content stay tuned subscribe to my channel guys thank you so much for watching all the best and bye bye